Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Mapping Persephone. Today we're going to be traveling to the northeast corner of the map to map that area. If I remember correctly, it's pretty wide open, not many people living there, and pretty mountainous. So it's going to be, travel is going to be a little bit tricky sometimes, but that's part of the challenge of this whole series. So um, I need to travel there, I need to teleport to spawn, then probably the Follies Brook, and then I'll travel overland. And when I get over there, I'll see you in a moment. And I'm back. We are at the first coordinate we need. Um, it is 1066 minus 1001. There's a pretty cool watchtower there in the distance with a bridge. We may take a look at that in a second. But first, let's get our maps going. First map of the day. Lots of wood, see the bridge there in the distance, and let me turn this way, way down. And let's get weather down as well. Reset when I change from another game mode. Alright, but we need to expand that, so... Yes, the tower and bridge are on the map, so we'll go take a look at those. Alright, first get down from here, a lot of holes in the ground, and I hear lava, so I don't want to fall into that. Alright, let's head over here to the bridge. Be a little path along here. There it is. Kind of a little mountainous path. Not no stairs or anything, but that feels kind of right. Let's see if there's what to say here. To Gory Gore or Gore Watchtower. Right? Okay, cool. All right. Let's take a look at this up close. Very neat. Let's go inside. Very nice. Okay, just need to go a little bit more on the um, map to get that completed. So that's around that way. Pretty much sealed in here by the trees. Here we go, here's a way around. Way up here in the mountain, let's make sure I don't fall off. Can I get down? Yes, looks like I can get down here. Just, ouch. All right, that's got that corner of the map. Now to head over this way. We'll get the rest of this map and then have to wait out the night. Yeah, lots and lots of wood. So that's... That watchtower may be about the only... Th sign of civilization we see in this corner of the map. Now I can get over here. Just a little bit more to get this corner, then I need to go down to this, get the southern corner. Up a little bit of lag. All right, probably about to start running into mobs any second now. Made sure to restock my arrows. Yeah. 
All right, there we go. That's map one of today's quest achieved. I'm going to go ahead and dig in for the night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, we're back. It's just about morning, so let's head off to our next destination. This was the lower left-hand corner of the map, so let's go ahead and head north and kind of squiggle our way back and forth. So the next one we need is at... 10.66 and minus 12.57 the wrong way, north, this is ways north so somewhere over this way and there's a zombie burning up behind me Yeah, pretty rugged terrain around here. Let's cross this river. Okay, some open water. I don't think there's a lot. It's just more like lake size rather than big seas or oceans. Let's see, 11 or 1257 on the, the z-axis. We have to head a little bit to the left on the x-axis. Chickens following me around. You guys are everywhere. All right, 10.66, getting pretty close to that, and 12.57. Right by it, 12.65, somewhere right in the middle of these trees, I think. 66. And 12.57, so right here, let's get out our next map. Alright, just as I suspected, lots more woods. Let's expand this out. Let's go get that little tiny southeast corner. All right, looks like it. And let's head west. Yeah, lots and lots of forest. Don't need that on the F3 screen on while we're running around with the map because we can see it by the map where we need to go all right now we need to head north still lots and lots of forest and lots and lots of chickens ouch There's that corner now over this way.
All right, there's that map. So that is this square there. Let's duplicate it right now. So I'm ready when we get back to the map wall. All right, that's right there. So the next one is the northwest corner of this little expedition. So I need to go to 1066, which I'm right on it right now, and 1513. Alright. More forest. So anybody who wants a house away from everyone else, this is a really nice corner of the map to do that in. Alright, 1513 and 1066 right under this tree all right map number three and just as I suspected lots and lots of trees all right let's expand this Well, a little bit of mountain up the north border there. Okay, let's go get this corner. Then work our way around. <laughs> Looks like I can get up this way. Yep. Alright, at least different kind of forest here. Going from the spruce to the standard mixed forest of oak and birch. Uh, need to go a little bit down to that lower left hand corner. And now northward towards the border. Let's see, how do I get around this little obstacle? Oh, not so little. Keeps going up and up and up. And the border is at 1641. I don't need the F3 on anymore. All right, got that corner. And now we head over towards where the mountain mountains start. And now I gotta work my way down. All right, looks like that's pretty safe. Hard to tell with the map in my face, but take a chance. Yes, hello chickens. Yes, there are a lot of you. Oh, this little overhang. And there is our first mountain, true mountain of the day. Hitting the border, so the mountains are over the border, so you can't get to actually get to it. All right, on to the next coordinate. So minus fifteen thirteen and Z, but now we want to get to thirteen twenty two. Let's go ahead and duplicate and put this map away. That's the upper left hand corner. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go around this hill. So we need 1322 in the X. There's some more mountains. Oop, need to eat a bit. Thirteen twenty-two, so a little ways to go. It's nice outcrops and overhangs in these mountainous areas. So I have to get around probably just the other side of this mountain. Yeah, it's getting nightfall, so I'll be digging in and hiding out the night in just a moment. Let's see if we can get to the map location and get it started. It's probably way, way up there. 1322 and 1513. Okay, we're going to solve this by digging straight in to this mountain until we get to our coordinates we need to go to 1513 and then we can just whoop run into a cave. Okay, well that... Still need to get... Slide this up a bit. Still need to get to 1322. Get to 1513, which is right here. All right, let's go ahead and expose the map. Yeah, a lot of, okay, lots of mountains and extreme hills in this area. All right, now to expand it. And since it is nighttime, um, I'm going to go ahead and wait out the night here, and I'll see you guys outside in the morning. Alright, I am back. It's morning, but there are creepers about. I can take care of him. Alright, now we can start filling in this map. Uh, I need to go a little bit more this way. Not fall into holes in the ground like that chicken or fall into lava. There's a nice little lava pool on the map. All right, so that's that corner. Now we head back west. Fill in the lower left-hand corner with all this mountainy goodness. Sheep and spiders and chickens. The only residents out here. Haven't found a single house yet. And just a lookout tower. It's part of, I guess part of the server defense network. Alright, that corner's done. Now I'll head off to the northern border. This should be moderately challenging the mobs hanging out here in the shadows that's good all right and then we get into more forest along the border don't we hit the border okay all the pixels filled in on that side 
So we can't go around that this side. We have to go around this way. And looks like it won't do any good to climb the mountain because we'll have to just climb down again. So let's go back the way we came. Hello sheep again. I think we passed you just a few moments ago. Alright. Now we can head north. See what's up here. What did I just pick up? Don't see it. All right, that's that core. Okay, our next coordinates are. Let's see, that was up here. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to the corner, and then we'll work our way back to the middle one. So next coordinates we need are 1578 and minus 1513. We ooh a ravine that goes way down. I need to get through all these trees. Yeah, here we go. So fifteen seventy eight. So a little bit off to the right. A little pond up here on the side of the hill. Alright, right around here somewhere. 15, 13, 15, 78. Alright, let's put a torch down the market. Get out the next map. All right, a lot more forest, some mountains to traverse. All right, let's expand it. that on our screen. All right, so yep, some mountains to worry about. So let's go ahead and do this usual routine, head a little bit southeast. Then head west, back through the forest the way we came mostly. Don't know how many remember that falling water it had to be at least too deep before it was safe, but now you can jump into water of any depth and not take damage. Alright, up. Oops. Let's 
at this northern border. There's the border. All right, so now to head this way again. Moo. Moo. I see you, Mr. Cow. All right, so right along the edge of that mountain and river. So you gonna get. Nope, that's too far. There we go. So we need to get right in the corner. I think we will just miss like a few pixels in the upper right hand corner because we can't quite reach that by getting on the border. Uh, no, we might get them all. It might have just been three more pixels. And there they are. Okay, cool. We got that map. So now we need to head south. Oop, that's that one. We'll head south and then work away to the middle. Rain. All right, so now we need to go to 1578. And minus 1257. The lake here. This will make a nice home base area. Oh, horses. Or a horse. Seems far from home. Is that saddle on in? Oh, yep, so someone lost their horse. Um. Rough terrain for riding, so I'll go ahead and leave him there. If I see someone's home around, maybe I'll see about taking him back. But... Alright, so probably somewhere up on this mountain. Looks like we're in a. Is that, where are we in a. Yep, yeah, we're in a flower forest. Pretty cool. There's not too many of these around, but I think there's three or four on the main server map. Okay, so 1257, 1578. This is somewhere over here. I think right on the side of this hill. Fifteen seventy eight, twelve fifty seven, not too far. Right there. All right, let's expose the map and then we'll dig in for the night. Forest and Plains. Alright, I'll dig into the side of the hill here and see you guys in the morning. 
All right, I am back. It is morning time. I have expanded the map, and that's what we see here. So, the usual routine applies. Lots of woods in this one, and plains. Let's get over here. Looks like the southeast corner is already filled in. Let's head over this way and pass this nice friendly neighborhood spider. Hi there. Ooh, pigs. Haven't seen that many of them yet. All right, that's a pretty cool looking lake there. Kind of a, oop, 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 I hear you. Are you underground? I think, I think he's underground, so I don't have to worry about him. Oh, and there's that ravine on the southeast cor or southwest corner. All right, now to head north through all these flowers in the flower forest. But yeah, that's a pretty cool looking lake. Two little bulbs with a little pa passage between them. This little waterfall into it. Yeah, this would be another picturesque place to make a house. Is this a big hole? Yep, it's a big hole. Alright, there's that corner of the map. And now to fill in this top part. Uh, still hearing lots of zombies from the nighttime spawning. Uh, we also missed a th big thunderstorm overnight, so that's good. And then this other lake, oh, zombie flesh. Another lake. Did we see this lake? I don't know if we saw this lake. Let's at least climb up the hill and take a look at this lake here on the uh, edge of the map. Very, very cool. Alright, so that is this map right here. And now we need to head south for the next location. delayed ouch there. Uh, oh, need to eat a bit. So now we need to go all the way down to minus 1001 in the Z direction. Yeah, looks like we'll get back into the forest. So 1578 and minus 1001, so somewhere probably right on that ridge. Yeah, right over here, I think. 15, 20 more blocks. 15, 7, oh, there's the 1001. And there's the 1578, is right under this tree. Alright, so let's do it this way. Let's go like that, and then we can fill in the dirt afterwards. All right, new map time. Oops. I need to put it in my inventory or in the... 
All right, just the, again, the lots more trees, no civilization whatsoever. All right, let's expand it. out of here fill this up again all right so southeast I'm gonna hurt myself let's go ahead and get down to the bottom of this and that should be enough to get that part of the map hello chicken Ooh, hey. Let's actually head north first. Nah, it doesn't matter too much. pretty dangerous. And that's pretty dangerous. Ouch. Getting snuck up on by creepers. And head north. Right on the border between the two different kinds of forests here Got the taiga and the regular forest and start drifting over towards all right that's that corner now to get the northeast corner Nice little plains area here. Almost fell in that pool. One more pixel. Come on, there you go. All right, that is map number seven. All right, now to head east. Four or west. I keep getting east and west mixed up. All right, head west to thirteen twenty-two and minus one thousand one. Take a look at the. Nice, a nice view of the world this way. I mean, you pretty much have to travel everywhere. So you get to see what, that's what the whole purpose of this series is, just to get a really good look at the entire world, what it has to offer, and what people have done with it. Of course, like, like I said, this area is almost completely wilderness, so there's still plenty of room for people to come out, build a home. Alright, 1322, so we're almost there. Just need to go south a bit. far somewhere up here thousand one thirteen twenty two one thousand one right there map number eight of the day wow look at that more forest So 
show up before we start walking. All right, so nope. Got the glitch where it did not expand. All right, well, brought extra paper, so do it again. There it goes. All right, and it's getting nightfall yet again. But we'll go ahead and make a hidey hole for the night. Let me just get the southeast corner filled in. There we go. And I'm gonna dig in here and catch you guys in the morning. All right, it is morning. I have the new map expanded. Let's see, go to... Oh, we have to end up going north. So let's go ahead and go west. And more... What do I keep picking up? I keep hearing the picking up noise and I do not know what I'm picking up. Oh, probably zombie flesh. All right, over this way. Pigs and cows and forest. I hear a skeleton probably underground. Another baby zombie. All right, another lake. But it's time to turn north and see what's up this way. There's that ravine, or it should be a different ravine. We got the coordinates right, I'm not overlapping these maps. But there are a lot of ravines in this world, so. Let's see what this one is like. Some made the bridge possibly me on an earlier expedition. Not too deep. Good size though. Alright, now we need to turn to the east. Almost pure forest on this map. A lot, I think, like. When we put these all together, of course, we're going to see lots and lots of forest. A few mountains. Alright, now we can head north. Okay, so that is the bottom middle map. And now, the middle middle map. And for that, we need coordinates of 1322. We're pretty close to that already. And 1257, minus 1257 on the Z. Not too far. So I'm just trying to decide if I should go up or around. Let's go up. 1257. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Oof! Ouch. Alright, really close. 55, 57, and... 22. Alright, our last map for the day. And even more forest. Mostly spruce. It's 
need to go a little bit over here. All right, all those pixels filled in. A little bit over here. And another lake. So lots of lakes to make lakeside homes. And it looks like we'll get into a little bit of extreme hills on the northern border of this map. some exposed rock. Oh, there's another horse. Uh, no saddle on this one, so that's probably a wild horse uh, wandered off from one of the nearby plains. And there's the, oh, there's another horse up here. Oh yeah, a few horses around. Very cool. Yep, looks like they just kind of like wandered up from down here. <laughs> Alright, that is the final map filled in. Let's duplicate that. So now that's all, all that's left to do is go home and put this on the map wall. Let's go ahead and do that while there's still a little bit of day. kid here. He, he's been wanting to help me with uh, one of these episodes. I was not in the start, but um, maybe next episode we'll take him around. You'll get to see Recording the end of the episode. There, here we go. All right, let's rearrange things here. All right, so that goes there. That goes there, that goes there. So there's the middle three, and so there's, there's, uh, I I thought there was more mountains than that, but there's, I guess there's just that one kind of big mountainous region right kind of in the middle. Alright, and now the last row. Alright, there is back for the uh, last exposure. Alright, this one goes down there. And that there, and that there. So that is the full map for today. Let's uh, let put these there one back up just a bit. There we go. So that's the full map for today. Let's 
take off the thing, get a nice close up as possible. So you guys can take a really good look at it. Uh, one set of mountains right in the middle of this top area, but most of the rest of it is all forest. So, and now time to time to take a look at the whole map. Alright, so that's what the whole map looks like. Let's get everything off the screen so you guys can take a look at that. Like I said, a lot of forest up there, a lot of wilderness. Uh, plenty of room for building. Alright, next episode we will take a look at the bottom right hand corner. And then we'll map that and then over the left hand corner and then start filling in all these gaps. That'll be really cool when they start connecting all these maps together. In the meantime, I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, and then let the cool kids say bye to you guys as well. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day.